To start my project, I have coiling core. It's just a nicely wound rope. I have some yarn. Really, you want a four ply yarn that's going to be a lot thicker. This is more decorative, it's very, very thin, but I can still use it. And a plastic tapestry needle. Okay, so I'm right handed, which means I want my yarn, my coiling core, sorry, my coiling core to go to my left. I want my yarn on the right. What I'm going to do to start, I'm going to have my yarn uh, going the same direction as my coiling core. I want it end to end. Also note, I have a 45 degree angle cut here. 90 is straight up and down, 45 is halfway. 180 makes it complete. This 45 degree cut is going to allow me to actually coil it inwards. So I'll start here. And about two inches in, you begin wrapping around. So I'll go over and under and over and under. And again, because this is a different kind of yarn, it's very thin, I have to make sure I wrap very tightly so there's no gaps. This is the center of your basket. So I have some gaps. I'm going to kind of squeeze it all together and keep going, wrap, wrap, wrap. Notice with my coiling core on my left, and my yarn on the right, this makes this very easy to do. Okay, now as I get to this end, things are going to get a little tricky. I'm going to wrap as far as I can, but it won't be all the way. So you're going to, oops, careful, hold that down, pinch and tuck. Now here, I'm going to wrap this down and over. So this is around both pieces. And I'm going to wrap it very tight so that I'm covering up this seam. Okay. Now keep wrapping very tightly over and under and over and under. So I'm going from the inside to the outside, inside to the outside. Now, I was not counting how many wraps I have. Generally, you want to start with about 10 before we're going to continue coiling and weaving this together. So, we're gonna get our weaving needle, find the end of our yarn, and keep going. Okay, I found the end of my yarn. So, one thing that I need to do, you can't just stick it straight in, you actually want to fold the yarn over into a loop and tuck the loop inside. So pinch it tight as possible, tuck it in, pull. Okay, so you want about two inches, three inches of overhang. Do not tie this. Okay, do not tie this. You want to be able to stitch through your different coils and if you have a knot in it, it will not go through. Okay, so I have ended on my yarn going over. That means it's gonna come under. And on the way over, we're gonna do what's called a figure eight. So it's looped over and under and then over and under. So I go one coil over and stitch pull your yarn through. Keep in mind you want the coiling cord to your left, yarn to your right, that way you are not getting this wrapped around the coiling cord. You will end up with knots in places that you don't want them. So I pull it very tight. I have the start of a figure eight I'll show you. So that's the start of the figure eight. Now I will loop around the other direction. So we end it on an under over, under, 
over. And then we will stitch through one more time to complete the figure eight. So I do have a spot where I had a little knot earlier. I untied it and you can see it started giving me problems because of that. Now I have another knot I'll have to get undone. You'll become an expert at it by the end of this project. Okay, so I have my first figure eight. So I'm going to loop under and over, pull it tight, and we're going to wrap at least 10 times. So that's one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna pull tight because I have some gaps, and look, I have some bad gaps here. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Pull it down. Okay, figure eight again. So we're over, under, and through. Fingernails come in handy sometimes. Okay, now I want to make sure I'm pulling on the correct side, which is the bottom side. Okay, that's half of my figure eight. So I ended on under. So we'll go over and around, under, over and through. Okay, what's next? Oh, I ended on an under, so I will wrap it around, go over. And how many times do I coil it? Oh, right, 10. Okay, so I'll start with one, two, three, four, five. Tuck it down. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Time for another figure eight. All right, you get the idea. Have fun.